1964 University of Tennessee Volunteers could be called the New Look Vols because for the first time, Tennessee will not be using their famous single wing offense this year. The Vols will go to the T formation, directed by their youthful new head coach, Doug Dickey, shown talking with UT Athletics Director Bob Woodruff, who was Dickey's coach at Florida, where the new Vol mentor was a quarterback. Dickey has been a chief lieutenant to Frank Broyles at Arkansas before becoming head man of the Volunteers. Meet the other members of the ball coaching staff. Charlie Rash, Bill Anderson, Jimmy Dunn, Vince Gibson, Charlie Coffey, Bill Majors, George Cathigo, freshman coach George McKinney, assistant Jack Kyle, assistant coach Chuck Rowe, and veteran trainer Mickey O'Brien. Captain of the 1964 Vols will be All-American guard Steve DeLong, a 243-pound senior who finds himself in a new defensive position as middleman in the Vols' front. He'll probably be used more on defense than offense this year. Now let's meet the other Vols, starting with the ends where a speedy sophomore Paul Newmoff rates as the top pass receiver, along with other flankmen, 196-pound senior Al Tanera, who hopes to recover from a knee operation and hustling Bobby Frazier, a 190-pound junior. Another top receiver is junior Glenn Gray, 188-pounder. Then there's junior Gerald Woods, a fine blocker, and sophomore Johnny Mills, a 192-pounder. Ball tackles are young but determined, with the likes of Joe Graham, 218-pound sophomore, Mac Gentry, 202-pound Knoxville sophomore, and senior Carl Ellis, alternate captain who's moved from guard to tackle this year. Junior Joe Falco is a 215-pounder who's tough and aggressive. Jim Lowe, a 221-pound junior whose primary strength is on offense. And sophomore Terry Bird has made tremendous strides. Backing up All-American DeLong at guard will be Tom Fisher, moved from center to be used mostly as a linebacker, as will former blocking back Sam Robertson. Also seeing service at guard will be 211-pound junior Bill Cameron, 202-pound junior Clay Harkelrode, and tough 208-pound sophomore Bobby Morell. Junior Frank Emanuel will be listed as a center, but will be used mostly on defense as a linebacker. With Norbert Ackerman, 208-pound senior, used mainly on offense, and 218-pound junior Reggie Jellicorse at center. Former tailback Hal Wantland, a junior from Columbia, will lead the balls at T quarterback. Strong as a runner, Wantland is a great competitor who works to succeed. Behind Wantland at quarterback stands sophomore Dewey Warren, 196-pounder, who's a good runner and passer, and junior David Leak, who will also see service as an extra point kicker. Junior Billy Tomlinson will see plenty of offensive halfback service, as will Jack Patterson, a 189-pound junior from Nashville. John Patey has the speed and desire to become a top-notch running back. Jackie Cotton is a 196-pound junior from Memphis. Bobby Gratz is a terror on defense. Hard-running Stan Mitchell leads the hopefuls at fullback for the New Look ball, backed up by speedy Jimmy Sullivan. Three balls will be used primarily as defensive backs. Bobby Petrella, 181-pound junior. Jerry Smith, 174-pound sophomore. And another sophomore, 180-pound Harold Stansel. Sharing the funny beauties will be specialists Ron Whitby and Dennis Gibson, both sophomores. These are the balls of 1964 with a new coach, a new system, but the old volunteer spirit that promises every opponent an exciting afternoon of Southeastern Conference football. The spirit of the hills, every man with the